Welcome to the How to Add a Singular Document in the Document Management Viewer video. In order to add a singular document from your files, you will need to have the Club Document Management Advanced module and you will have had your own document types already defined. There are various ways to navigate to the Document Management Viewer, either by going to Club Management, Inquiries, Statements, Archives, Document Management Viewer, or Club Management, Club Admin, Document Management Viewer. We will access the Document Management Viewer this way. Clubs that have this advanced module can extend the functionality of the document management module to use these buttons Add Documents and Add by Task to upload your documents into the club management system. This video will concentrate only on the button Add Documents and afterwards you can go to the other video that will cover the button Add by Task which will add multiple documents. Documents can be added one by one or can be discovered in one folder to be added all at once. In the Document Management Viewer, we will see Document Type at the top. It doesn't matter here what you select. You can select all or any one type. This is to enable the Add Documents button. We will skip the date ranges. They don't apply here to the task of adding documents because when we add a document, we will record the date. So let's jump to Add Documents button. Go ahead and click this button to select the documents one at a time, enter their attributes so we can add them to the document management system. Save Edit Document screen. At the top, you will see the document type. This will bring you to the custom document types. Only types that you have defined will appear in this list. None of the internal types are available to be selected. Erase after add field. Select this field to have the document deleted from its location after being imported into the document management. Attribute and data section. A list of attributes that were originally attached to the document type will be pulled up here. For the data column, click the magnifier to see the list of the attribute values or data that will identify with the attribute. This metadata allows you to filter your searches in the future to find your documents. Now choose the document to be imported by using the Document Location field. Browse or type the whole path and file name of the document you want to bring into the system. If you have a scanner attached to your workstation, you can use the Scan button to talk directly to the scanner and bring in the documents that way, as an alternative to using the Document Location field. To have the same set of attribute data applied to multiple documents, continue browsing and selecting or scanning documents. The list of documents to be imported will build up in the document section of the screen. If a mistake is made, double click on a document and remove it from the list. To have a different set of documents applied to the same documents, use the Add Documents button. This will add the currently selected document files to the system with all the same attributes filled in and then allow you to change the attributes and import them again. To import the chosen documents with the attribute data entered applied through them all, and then be ready to import a new set of documents against the new document type, use the Add Docs and Clear List button. 
Then reuse the Reset All button to clear all of the attribute dataset and the document type to begin again. If you've made a mistake entirely and haven't imported yet, you can use the Reset All button to clear all your choices and to start again. Click Exit to return to the viewer screen. Now we are in the Document Management Viewer, let's locate the document we just added. Okay, so we've got Document Type, Club Invoice, the date range, we'll set it for the month, and then we'll search the documents. Here it is here. This completes the end of our video, How to Add Singular Documents in the Document Viewer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our Jonas Club Management YouTube channel for more how-to videos. See you in the next one.